Okay, to start this video. First off, my name is Mark and this is Northern Ants. I really appreciate you stopping by to check out this video. This one is going to be a cleaning of a Fortress Type 3 from Tar Hill Ants. It's got a pretty good sized colony in it, so it, it's a little tricky, but I'm going to take a step by step through it. The other part of this video is the very important part is I'm going to be thanking you, which I am, I can't thank everybody enough. I hit my thousand subscribers yesterday and that's because of you, all of you out there. Thank you so much. To show my appreciation, I can't name everybody, but down in the comments, I want you to sing your own praises. Say, I'm a subscriber, link one of your favorite videos on your channel so people can go down into the comments and find your channels because my subscribers many of them have incredible channels if you don't have a channel sing your praises too because there's many of you out there that comment on all my videos and watch them all the time and i greatly appreciate that so thank you so much if you're new to the channel and this is your first video of watching of mine please check out the, the comments and, and see some of these other amazing channels and remember hit the subscribe button on my channel as well i am growing hopefully going to be growing sky's the limits i want to as many subscribers as i can if you subscribe now you can say i was in on the ground floor so subscribe like comment down below and please enjoy the video it does, it's a pretty good one i had fun making it cleaning the cleaning of fortress type 3 with ants in it a little tricky but it hopefully it'll help you out if you have a fortress type 3 or any other um, tar hill ants or a setup it'll help you uh kind of get used to um cleaning them because they can get pretty dirty and you don't want to leave that in there too long or it could start to mold or um could cause health problems for your ant colony so okay here's the video but you can see that their garbage pile is inside the chamber and they're starting a second one because they're getting so full and also the glass is pretty bad dirty wise and the outworld too oh, can't really see it with the cover still on i need to redo the uh, flu on on that rim also because i just noticed there was a couple of them walking around on the on the lid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this container and I'm going to put flu on around the outside so that I can take the glass off and, and if they do get in here it won't really be a problem because I can just suck them up with that. It will be a little bit disturbing to them quite a bit actually but it will be better to do it before it gets to the point where it gets unhealthy for them with having build up of garbage all over the place. So I will get that stuff set up and we will get going on it. Okay, we'll see how this is gonna work. Um, I got it into the got it in the tote, which well, you can see in the other camera, I got it in the tote and I put the flu on around the the edge. Let's see if I can get a good angle with this. As you can see it's a pretty big population, so it's gonna be gonna be tricky. It's gonna because I've gotta clean all of these bases here where they've got a lot of garbage up in these spots and then along the rims here there's a lot of pots that are really dirty. But with the flu on it should keep all the ants inside of the inside of this container and then i've got the got the whatever sucking them up okay hopefully this doesn't go bad <laughs> let's see i can see quite a pupa and stuff down in there i've got my my tweezers and a little thing here just to kind of pick up the the 
to breathe it. Also, and if the ants gather in here, it's fine too. So. I just don't want to crush any. Oh, that's different. The magnet came off of the off of the glass. That'll make it tricky. Yeah, they're uh, they're finding their way out. Let's. What we can do is just we'll just scoop all this garbage out of here. And get started fresh. Most of this debris is just uh, casings. We can even use the use this to kind of get all that debris blown out. Get away from the front here. It's not really a dirty, dirty stuff. It's not like it's caked on or anything, but and it's keeping the ants down in there pretty good. So it seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, if it was a like a real wet garbage, it would be a lot worse. But they've been doing pretty good at keeping it keeping it clean. Really a good colony, that's for sure. Okay, there. It could probably come after my fingers. Oh, they didn't. Oh, that's different. One of the magnets came off of the off the glass. That's unusual. Um, now with the with this glass, it's kind of hard to see it, but there's a lot of caked on stuff on that. So I'm just gonna see where they got. Yeah, I've got like a glass cleaner thing. I can I don't really want to use. I'm gonna go run this under the I'm gonna go run it under the sink and just kinda wash it off with water. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got the glasses nice and clean now. These uh glass chamois things work really good for cleaning up it and I just use water I didn't use soap or anything I don't want to put any kind of residue or anything on the glass and the ants are doing pretty good on staying actually staying inside the nest there's a few wandering but that's to be expected because their world just opened up my biggest thing right now is I want to be Super careful about crushing any. Every single one of these little ones are very important. Oh, one one is going in the along the side over here. The where the tube goes in to fill the water. I'm going in there. Okay, let's uh cross our fingers and Better yet, say a little prayer that we don't crush any. Every member of the colony is very important. Okay, let's stay back, guys. No, come on, girls, I mean, sorry. Did not mean to say guys. Everybody's a girl in here. No thumbs down for that. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. So far, so good. Now, the outworld is something to be seen, too. Let's, uh, first, let's get all these little girls sucked up so we don't, by moving this, we don't accidentally 
crush anybody. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> they grab it onto the container, they just crawl right back out on me. Or they get shot out like a cannon. Yeah. Not working as good as I was thinking it was going to. While I'm doing this, I'm going to take this moment to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me that you enjoy my content and that you're so supportive. Everybody that comments and likes my videos, it's just outstanding. If you don't already know, yesterday I hit my 1,000th subscriber. Thank you to everybody that got me to that point. The White Chipmunk channel, she has done so much for me in the last, uh, like, two months, I think it's been now. I think we, I was at, like, 9.38 or 9.37 or something like that when I met her, found her channel. And she's been promoting my channel like crazy. You know, and, you know, if you get a chance, it's really cool. She's got rare white chipmunks. So if you get a chance to head over there and check it out, I would do it. It's You're not going to see them anywhere else. She does live streams all the time and stuff, and it's great. She's really good at doing live streams. I'm, I'm still working on on my live streams and stuff. I, I'm, I'm horrible at pronouncing, so when I do a live stream, I tend to steer away from reading people's names and comments and stuff, and I feel bad about that, but I, it, it's like I don't want to mispronounce or misread something and stuff. So if, like, if you're watching one of my live streams and I, and you say hi, and I just say hi, back it's I no don't be offended by that I I'm saying hi to you because you were the last person that said hi so okay so last off thank you so much everybody first thousand is down next million to go <laughs> I'm hoping for I want to grow as big as I can go okay let's Start working on this outworld. Oh, they're just coming right out too. So let's first things first here. I unfortunately left my the flu on. I left the flu on over by the ant setup. So I gotta get over there. Kind of got this bottleneck right here. So let's get that. Still showing on there for me. My computer just showed that it was a the it lost connection. Okay, let's turn this around this way so you can see kind of see the outworld a little better. Let's get a a dab of the flu on here. And we're gonna just redo some of this along here. It's been probably I want to say two months since I redid the lawn, so it's been lasting really good. The big thing is the fluon is good for keeping those fruit flies in there because you put the fruit flies in, they, they try to run right back out. Who blames them? You know? <laughs> Their dinner. <laughs> I've been trying to get away too. Okay, I think somebody else got out into the outworld here. Or, well, this isn't the outworld, but the... There we go. Get her in there. Get her in there. Okay, let's, let's get all these little girls back.
Why, they sure hold on tight, don't they? Okay, my, uh, this Outworld is, like, super dirty. Let me pick up the... I'm gonna give you a little bit of a view down in there before I start cleaning. See, I've, I've been feeding them grapes, and they've, uh, because it's the only thing I had available, so that's been what I've been giving them, but it, uh, it's been working, they've been eating on them. The last two pieces that were pretty big, they don't seem to have really touched those too much. Not as much as they did when I first put the first couple pieces in there. But okay, let's uh let's see what we can do here. Yeah, we'll get all the if we throw anybody out, we'll just pick her up with the you know, which we did. Yeah, see there's We'll just go and if we grab some, actually, if she just helped me by grabbing onto the, the piece that I was trying to pick up. It looks like my honey water is kind of, yeah, see my population is here is, is doing pretty good. That's why I want to get. I'm gonna get all this garbage out of here because it uh, could start getting bad for them. It, uh, it's a little tedious doing it this way, but <laughs> that piece got jammed up in there. Keep your eye which uh the ants are starting to crawl up the pipe to get to your hand. Yeah, see there's one on me right now. I'm gonna drop her back. There's a second one. It smells good in there because they got that I just redid their honey not too long ago. And it's a... Uh, Smells good. And some of it did leak out. Yeah, trying to bite, but I've been bit by these so many millions of times it's hardly even tell it anymore. We'll just dump all the garbage into the container so we can then use <laughs> they grab on and they grab on hard. I'm gonna get every last little girl back back home. Well, that was good. It was a one was down by a big old chunk of debris and I didn't wanna end up picking the brewery back up too. I want to get picked up. Yeah. Get it out of the container. So now we can, there is a few. Let's see if we can see them down there. This is all the, oh, or the one that's still in my hand. <laughs> Get her over and uh, get him by finger. I used to, oh, yeah. you know, come off easy when they're biting you. The, you know, I just got this just uh, in August of this last year, and it's been really handy but you know for the last 40 years I well I didn't really most the, when I first started like when I was five I just kind of sat and watched them and stuff but probably six seven years old I started putting them into jars and I would literally sit for hours dump out some dirt and dump out dirt into the here just like in a thing like this, I don't turn into it that's full of ants and eggs and stuff. And I reach my finger, just pick them up egg by egg. Outworld is nice and clean. And let's turn it around. 
no more garbage in the in the nest. Glass is clean. Nice clean environment for them again. So they can continue to grow as good as they've been. One last look at the cleaned nest. Which they've already got. I just set a pack up over here and they've already got one piece of garbage. Or two pieces of garbage in the different garbage spots in the nest. Which is good. Because they, it's where they need to put it. Get it to focus. There we go. Yep, they're all by. Oh, there's the queen's head. There she is. Head sticking up in the middle there. Let me know if you see her. She's the big, big red head right in the middle. Two black ants in front of her. Let me know if you noticed her. I know this was a little bit longer one, but wanted to get the whole detail of the cleaning. And also, I needed to make sure I got that thank you out there to everybody, because it, it just it makes me, like, <laughs> warms my heart to know that there's so many people out there that are supporting me. And I really appreciate it. And if you're just getting to the channel, this is your first video, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here as we grow, our, grow my channel. So Don't forget to check out the Northern Ants merch shop. The link is in most of the descriptions of the videos, plus on my homepage. Thank you.